Hi, I'm Leslie Kenny. I'm the founder of Oxford HealthSpan based here in Oxford, England, and I wanted to give you some scientific background on spermidine to help you learn more about this unique compound. Uh, as you know, we're at an anti-aging conference and anti-aging is not considered disease by the American Food and Drug Administration, which means I'm able to talk to you about the science behind that. I'm sure most of you know, because you're at RADFEST, that uh, when we think about longevity, um, we want health span. We want to be healthy. We don't want to just live a long time, but we want to have the vitality and energy and mobility to be able to enjoy it until the very last second. And uh, one of the ways that we can do this is by holding back the hands of time, the nine hallmarks of aging. The hallmarks of aging were discussed in this paper by Guido Cromer. And if you happen to see a, another paper that was published in May of this year by two professors from University College London, Linda Partridge and Brian Kennedy, and one of their colleagues, Matthias Fuente Alba, you would have noticed that a new paper was done which discusses anti-aging drug targets. And what is most interesting about that paper to me was a chart which takes Guido Cromer's nine hallmarks of aging and sets them out across the top and then looks at the different targets for drugs, anti-aging drugs. And of course, metformin is there. Uh, rapamycin is at the very top. And the reason why is because these researchers show that it actually targets six of the hallmarks of aging. However, you may also know that rapamycin is used as an immune suppressant for organ transplants. However, spermidine, which actually prevents five of the hallmarks of aging, has no known side effects. And that is actually what's really interesting and relevant to me, is that while rapamycin hits the majority and the most number of hallmarks of aging. Spermidine is the second, and it's a very close second with five of those hallmarks, and there are no side effects. So I urge you to take a look at the science behind spermidine. The name of that paper again is here. You can take a look at it. There is a website called aboutspermidine.com, which also lists the latest studies and the clinical trials, which are ongoing. I think we're going to see a lot of exciting research about spermidine in the next few years.